when the university came, the University of Kentucky came off, I just just want to refuse, you know. My parents knew that this is the best one for me. I decided on my own, and I wanted the opportunity to be able to play the best talent, but not at the same time be able to create create something bigger than myself, be able to be a part of something bigger than myself, you know. There's, it feels better, feels better creating creating a dynasty than just joining it, you know? Sorry, how much do you look at like USF and UCF? Heavily, heavily. Um, so that was, between USF and UCF, they were, they were my top schools going down, almost going down to the wire. There was a lot of coaching changes those years though, as well, which, but, um, I definitely looked at a lot of UCF and USF, but Kentucky is the place for me. What do you recall about last year's Tennessee game for you guys, which is so wild? Um, I, it was a, it was definitely a, definitely a good game. Tennessee, they played, played great football. You know, it came down to the wire. But, um, I just remember it was, just remember being a tough game. You know, very physical. You know. Um, I believe there was an empty seat in the stadium. You know, it was one of the games with the most energy and the most um, just you could just feel you could just feel the intensity throughout the entire game. You know, but when I said before, we respect all of our opponents. You know, when it's time to when it's time to play Tennessee, we worry about Tennessee. <laughs> Sorry. Have you felt that more since you got to Kentucky? You talked about the environment, the atmosphere in those games. Do you felt that build more just when you have a big home game? Oh yeah, for sure. I've I've seen it from my freshman year. You know, um, there's plenty of teams that that uh, like that don't like Kentucky or like to like think they can whoop up Kentucky. And it's great being a part of it's great being part of a, a team and a group that along with Coach Stoops and Coach Romero with that culture that's allowed us to thrive, that we can go into all of these, we can go into all of these games with the mindset of we're not a doormat in the SEC. You're not just going to come in here and act like this is going to be easy. It's going to be one, it's going to be one of the toughest games of your season. And you're going to be in for you're going to be in for a fourth four quarter brawl. As a program, do you feel like that was happening to you guys? Teams are coming into Lexington and just thinking they could walk all over you guys. I believe so. You know, um, before Coach Stoops, before Coach Stoops got here and was able to really present that culture of that st stable culture that we can thrive on, that success. I believe that people look to Kentucky, the University of Kentucky, as less than. You know, and I believe. I'm blessed to be a part of, of a group that's helped change that narrative. And that's one of the reasons that we all came to Kentucky, to help change that narrative, you know? To change, to change that really, why not Kentucky? Why not come to a program with a coach that cares, the coach cares about every player on the staff. They have, they load up the staff to make sure you have everything you need on and off the field. You know you're gonna be able to play the top talent. You're gonna be on one of the best teams in the country. And you're gonna have a great time doing it, playing the game that you love. So there's really there's no reason that Kentucky should be viewed less than when we can that we've proven that we can play with the rest of the guys in the SEC. What's it like 